Is Blender an industry standard or not? That's a question that comes up constantly online. Anywhere that 3D artists, particularly Blender artists, sort of congregate online, like on Twitter or Reddit, you see this question all the time. It always causes arguments and, you know, you have people who are like detractors of Blender who are trying to put it down. And you have the Blender fanboys who are trying to say, no, it is industry standard. And nobody ever settles this question. People have made videos about it before, but I think uh, everyone misses the wider point. The reason why no one can ever agree on this topic is because there isn't actually one definition of industry standard. There's actually four different definitions that I see people use all the time. And depending on which one the person who's asking the question means, compared to which one the person answering the question means, you get all sorts of different answers. And then you just get lots of confusion because nobody understands what the other person is trying to say. So I want to just quickly go through those and give my opinions on whether it does count as industry standard or not based on that criteria. So the first definition of this question that you see online, and probably the most common one that people mean is, is it actually used in production? Is it used by big studios? Is it used by artists who do this professionally? And the answer to that is obviously yes. I mean, I'm a professional 3D artist. I use Blender primarily. You don't actually have to look past YouTube to see a load of other examples. Uh, Jama Jurabev, who's a really good concept artist, he gave a talk at the Blender conference a few years ago about how he uses Blender in his workflow. And he's used it for stuff like um, Jurassic World. Then Ian Hubert, who obviously everyone in the community knows, he's been freelancing for years using Blender. He's done stuff like, um, like an Ed Sheeran music video with it. He did an entire movie called Prospect with Pedro Pascal. He oversaw all the visual effects for that. He was the, the soup on that, the visual effects supervisor. Did it all with Blender. Uh, Robert Rayu, who you probably know as Blender Bob, he works in a studio and he uses Blender in his pipeline and he makes videos about how he's been using Blender to do commercials and things. So yes, it's definitely used in the industry. Not only is it used, but it's actually used by some like huge industry figures. Uh, Ubisoft Animation Studios said a few years ago they're just going to be using Blender from now on. There's a movie came out I think three years ago now, called I Lost My Body by a French studio. It was all made in grease pencil. It was the first animated movie to win one of the prizes at Cannes, and it was nominated for an Oscar. It didn't actually win that year. I think it was up against Toy Story, though, which is, you know, a terrible look. But either way, it's an Oscar-nominated movie, and it was made in Blender. So that one, I think we can safely tick off. Yes, Blender is used in production by 3D artists. The second definition that people seem to use when they ask, is Blender an industry standard? What they really mean is, does it conform to industry standard practices? And the answer to that is, so much as there are standard practices in the industry, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it uses a unit space that other tools can recognize. You can import and export from different tools. It recognizes all of the major formats like FBX and OBJ files and USD files, and you can import Alembic files and you can do all that sort of stuff. You can use textures that are from, you know, standard websites like textures.com and Polygon. You can use the same textures that you would in, in another software. You can export a file to something like Marvelous Designer and simulate the clothing and bring it back. Yeah, it works in pipelines. There's some areas where it differs from how other tools do things, but that doesn't like break it being used in a pipeline. I mean, the first question, is it used in the industry, basically answers this one. Yes, it conforms to what the industry uses, because if it didn't, they wouldn't be able to use it, and we know that they do. The third definition of is Blender an industry standard, and I think this is the only one that's actually tricky to answer, what they mean is, is it up to the same quality as other programs that are used in the industry? Now that one really is hard to say. It depends on how you're looking at it. I think it's unfair, not unfair, but a, an inaccurate matchup to compare Blender to pretty much any other 3D tool because it's the only tool that's a true generalist 3D package. Now some other 3D tools can do more than just 3D modeling, they can also do animation and they can do one or two other things. But Blender's the only tool out there that can basically do everything. I mean, it's at the point if you if you stripped away like half the features out of Blender, it would still have more features than any other 3D program. It's got a motion tracker. 
it's got procedural modeling like Houdini, it's got sculpting, it's got texture painting. You know, it's it's got so many tools that most 3D packages don't even have. But on the other hand, it doesn't really excel at anything. There's not one thing where people are like, oh, if you want to do that, you have to use Blender. Maybe Grease Pencil is getting there, but there's not one thing where it is the best, but it does most things at least well enough. It, however, once again, though, there is a few areas where Blender really falls short. And when it falls short, it misses by a mile. Um, for me, the, the most painful part of using Blender, and I've talked about this before, and I'll keep talking about it until it gets fixed, simulations. Simulations in Blender, there's no nice way of putting it. They're just shit. All of the simulation tools are wank, right? If you try to do a rigid body simulation in Blender, something basic, like a few objects fall on the floor, it looks terrible. It doesn't look realistic at all. You try to do you know, fluid simulation, you know, like it's it's slow and it looks bad. And it's using Manta Flow, but like it's a it's obviously not a great implementation or something. I don't know what the problem is, but it's just not good. The hair dynamics go crazy. The cloth, I've I talked about this before. I took out like a subscription to Marvelous. I think it's like 250 quid a year. And I took that out even though I don't do that much cloth sim just because it's such a painful process to use Blender's cloth sim tools. Like, it's it's horrendous. It's really, really bad. So, yeah, there's areas where Blender falls short. And it's not just that. UV unwrapping, there's a few other things. But it's improving all the time in those areas. But even still, if you use other programs for those things, that's no different to, like, Maya. You have to use other programs if you use Maya. Right? There's no sculpting tools, I don't think, at all in Maya. If you want to sculpt anything, you have to use ZBrush or something. So I don't see why it's any different. The areas where Blender falls short, yeah, you have to use another tool sometimes. So, just use one. That's what everyone does anyway for every other program. So the fourth and final definition that people use, and this is the stupidest one, which is why I've saved it for last. Sometimes when people say Blender isn't an industry standard, what they actually mean is Blender isn't the sole go-to program for doing 3D modeling or doing anything in, in 3D. Kind of like I just touched on earlier on. You know, whereas like with, um, with graphic design, it's Illustrator. You don't need to ask someone who does graphic design which tool they use. They almost certainly use Illustrator, especially if they're in a studio. If it's um, 2D concept art or something like that, it's definitely Photoshop. If they do roto work, if they do a lot of rotoscoping, they're using After Effects. All these things, you probably know what software I'm going to say before I say it. If they do a lot of sculpting, they use ZBrush. Yeah, there's a few out there using Mudbox or whatever, but mostly people use ZBrush. So people say, well, the Blender's not like that for 3D. And my answer to that is, well, nothing is. Like, as we've just established through that, there's lots of different tools that are used for one specialist thing. What would, what would you expect Blender to be the number one at? There isn't a number one modeling tool. I mean, we don't have the exact figures for what, how much uh, market share things have, right? There is actually a report that's done. There's a company that goes around, collects all these figures for like investors. If you want to invest $10 million into Autodesk, you want to know like what the industry is looking at. So you go through this report, which costs three and a half thousand dollars, by the way. I was going to download it to get the figures. I'm not paying three and a half grand for this video. So three and a half thousand, we don't have the exact figures, but we, we can get like pie charts where you can see the proportions at least without the exact numbers. And you can see that Autodesk's entire market share for 3D modeling, not just for Maya, is like obviously like a fairly small chunk. It really is a fairly small chunk of the market. There's no way that Maya is like this huge tool. Where that's the obvious one everyone uses. Anyone who tells you that's talking shit. And the other people say, well, okay, it's not about market share though. All of the top studios, they use Maya. And say, like, well, do they? Is that their go-to tool? Like for which studios? Because it's certainly not in movies. Because if you look at Pixar, or you look at Walt Disney Animation Studios, you look at ILM, or you look at Weta, some of them do use Maya in their workflow at some point. 
But none of them, it's their main tool. Not one of them, it's like the majority of work is done in Maya. Most of them use proprietary tools. They use um, Walt Disney and Pixar use something called Presto to do all the animation work. Um, ILM, I think, use Maya just for animation, but for nothing else. Like, it's optional. If you want to use Maya to model or whatever, you can, because they don't really care what program it's modeled in, as long as the model's compatible. But you can use whatever you want. If you want to use Blender or you want to use Cinema 4D or 3D Studio Max, then you can. So it's not like it's an integral part of any of the top movies like Workflows. All the big studios, they could probably take it or leave it. So basically, in summation, it doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter if Blender's the industry standard or not. Blender's used in the industry. You can make professional work with it. You can make money from it. That's all you need to know. If you're asking yourself that question, which people often know is, should I start learning Blender because I want to get into the industry? Most of the time I would say, yeah, it's actually a really good place to start. Even if you worry that you won't find a studio that uses Blender, once you understand the main tools in 3D, it doesn't really matter what you plan on. You can learn on Blender for a year and after a year, you can switch to something like Maya straight away. It'll take like three weeks to get used to a new set of tools and then you'll be up and running. Blender's a great place to start because it's free. It's really fast to download and open it. And there's a shitload of tutorials from people like me. There's no, no equivalent. Any other software that has this much like, like free content on how to use it. So the bottom line is it just doesn't matter guys if it's industry standard or not. It's a stupid question asked by stupid people. And if you see it in the future, just send them to this video and I'll tell them that they're stupid. Anyway, guys, I have a pub to catch. Sorry about making two of these like talking head ranty videos in a row. I'm uh, I'm trying to get sorted for uh, the Blender conference is in like how many days, like nine days from now. So I'm trying to get some content pre-recorded. So I've got some stuff for when I come back. Um, I also am trying to get a really big video done that I've just thought up yesterday for Halloween. So I'm only going to have like four or five days to work on that. So I'm trying to get stuff done. Anyway, if you hate these videos, just let me know and I'll stop making them. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to go to the pub and have a pint. I'll see you around. Have a good day. Fucking hell. Must be the weekend because I'm fucking blinded by these lights. Jesus. Look, guys. Mate. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Who makes a light bulb like that? Is that necessary? Fucking can't see here. Turn these off. broken <laughs> fucking hell. I'll go to the pub